I'll be share some special tricks to overcome the limitations in Abyssman X animation. Okay, turns out copying a folder from one frame to another doesn't work. What is keyframing? You might be wondering, what's an anchor point? What exactly is an in-between? Okay, turns out copying a folder from one frame to another doesn't work. If you copy a folder from the first frame and paste it into the following frames, it doesn't remain a folder. It turns into a single layer. So, I had to come up with a workaround. I copied and pasted individual frames and then I swapped the last frame to become the second to last frame. It's a bit of a workaround, but it gets the job done. What is keyframing? Keyframing is all about setting markers in time to define how things move and change. Here's the thing, pick one you want to animate, precision, size, and color, drop the keyframes at the start and end, then watch your creation flow between these points. What exactly is an in-between? An animation in betweening plays a crucial role in determining whether the animation will appear fast or slow. It's all about adjusting the timing to achieve the desired effect. Imagine this, you've got fast motion and slow motion. Fast motion might only require a few frames, while slow motion can involve more frames. That's why we create keyframes first. They help us decide how many frames to use for our animation. Now here's where it gets tricky. In Abyss Paint Animation, there's no anchor point in the Transform tool. You might be wondering, what's an anchor point? Well, it's like this pivotal point that everything rotates and scales around when you use the transfer tool. For example, if you want to animate a character waving their hand, you have to move the anchor point to where the forearm connects to the elbow. So, I have to move everything manually until it looks natural. This is painful.